Okay, so when you think of Montana, what is the first thing that comes to mind? I'm just wondering. I know when I first moved here, the first thing that came to mind was obviously the mountains. If you if you know a little bit of Spanish, you'll know that Montana, you know, in Spanish, Montaña, <laughs> it actually means mountain. So there's beautiful, beautiful mountains here. What's really interesting about the mountains um, that I noticed, and I remember we were going on a trip with my dad. Uh, we went on like a road trip back when I was, gosh, probably like 13 years old. And, you know, we drove through Montana and he was like, look at how awesome, like the valley kind of meets up with the mountains. So what's neat about what I found, I lived in Utah for a while and the mountains are absolutely stunning as well. Um, but the difference that I saw was that in Utah, it, like the city was built up to the mountains. So like, I mean, Salt Lake City, areas like that that are really, you know, highly congested. And so it's almost like you overlook the mountains, but here in Montana, it's like there, it's just, there's really nothing. You know, there's, there's the valley and then it just meets up with the mountains. And so it's almost like they're, they're just more noticeable. Um, anyway, another thing when I think of Montana is just like having that wild and free life. Um, something that was super important to me and my family and that we, we worked for and that we had a huge goal and dream for was to go and have some land and, and have like have a little homestead um, or like a little hobby farm or whatever you want to call it. So we actually just realized that dream about a year ago and I get so excited when, when people are doing, are doing something like this. So, I mean, I'll watch YouTube videos, you know, you have all those, those videos out there, people that are, you know, they got their chicken coops and their goats and they're, they're learning things. They're, they're being more self-sufficient. I mean, that's something that's so important to me, um, especially in these times, <laughs> but really, I mean, I want to teach my children that I think it's so important and, it, and it's something that we don't, they don't learn very much about, you know, have, you know, gardening, um, getting out there, you know, working with your hands and creating, um, being at one with nature and really appreciating the beauty all around us. It just really, really lights me up. So in fact, I'm a homeschooling mother as well. And you know, I read a book, it's called The Call, of the, the Call it's The Call of the Wild and Free, um, which is different than The Call of the Wild, but a lot of it is really based on like getting your kids outside and, and having them just be in awe of the beautiful world around them. And so anyway, it was really important for us to move somewhere where they could experience that. And they're learning so much. I mean, my daughter's out, you know, she's hatching a bunch of chickens and she is the expert mother hen. She can teach you anything. I mean, she's hatched 18 of them so far, but she wants to go, she's actually gonna be creating a little business where she's selling chicks and she's selling eggs, which nowadays eggs are like a million bucks a pot, basically. <laughs> I'm like, now is a great time. But all these things that it's um, given us this opportunity to really kind of expand our horizons and, and um, have our kids learn new things. And like I said, just being at one with that and living in the moment more. So that was really, like I said, super important to us. We were so excited to find our property. Um, and I love helping people. That's one of my passions is helping people find something like that. So anyway, if any of you guys are looking for some land um, some, somewhere, you know, there's a lot of like restrictions and things and I'm so sick of restrictions and regulations. <laughs> Um, but there's a lot of things that you have to think about, you know, even if you want to go and build a house, uh, um, you know, make sure that you're educating yourself on, you know, what is allowed, what isn't allowed. You know, we owned half an acre in Lockwood and um, I thought we could have chickens or something, but we actually weren't allowed to. And so my neighbors actually got some. And then we had another neighbor that kind of kept track of everybody. And she's like, are those chickens over there talking to me? I'm, I want to be like, I don't really know what they are. <laughs> so some people kind of bended the rules a little bit, but, but I'm all about freedom. And so like, I want to experience that. And I love, it's so inspired, inspiring for me to have to see other people experiencing that. So anyway, it's going to be educated. Like I said, on restrictions, regulations, you know, is there going to be like an HOA or like a, um, you know, they have like the cut, like, like particular covenants that don't allow you to have certain things. Um, what is it that you want? Like what type of a hobby farm are you looking at? You know, what kind of animals do you want to get? Um, what kind of things do you want to, you want to experience? Obviously like how much land, how far away do you want your neighbors? Um, all things like that. But I love to do the research and look at and see like what's available. Um, 
you know, kind of what's what's out there, what are, are there any loopholes, things like that. So um, yeah, thank you for tuning in. If you guys have any questions about, you know, purchasing a property where you can get your little baby goats, do some baby goat yoga or <laughs> whatever it is, uh, reach out to me and I would love to help you with that. Like I said, I'm super passionate about it. You guys can, you know, feel free to text me, call me, shoot me an email. I love to help in any way. Like this information, make sure to subscribe. It really helps keep me motivated to make more videos and I'll talk to y'all soon.